Mohenjo-daro, Unraveling the Secrets of an Ancient Civilization Introduction Mohenjo-daro, situated in the Sindh province of present-day Pakistan, stands as a testament to the sophistication and ingenuity of the ancient Indus Valley Civilization. Flourishing approximately between 2600 and 1900 BCE, this ancient city has captured the imagination of archaeologists and historians for decades. Historical Context The Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, was one of the world's earliest urban cultures. Mohenjo-daro, along with Harappa, Lothal, and other sites, comprised a network of thriving cities that showcased remarkable advancements in urban planning, architecture, and social organization. These cities, along the banks of the Indus River, constituted a complex society with a unique set of characteristics. Urban Planning and Architecture One of the defining features of Mohenjo-daro is its meticulously planned urban layout. The city streets form a grid pattern, indicating a high level of city planning. The main streets were broad and laid out in a precise north-south and east-west orientation. The systematic organization of Mohenjo-daro's infrastructure suggests a central authority overseeing construction, indicating a level of social and political organization. The houses in Mohenjo-daro were constructed using standardized fired bricks, showcasing a degree of architectural uniformity. These homes often had multiple rooms, and some even had an indoor bathroom with a sophisticated drainage system. The Great Bath, a large rectangular tank made of baked bricks, is a striking example of the city's advanced engineering. The purpose of the Great Bath is still a subject of debate among archaeologists, with theories ranging from ritualistic bathing to a public gathering place. Artifacts and Cultural Significance Excavations at Mohenjo-daro have unearthed a wealth of artifacts that provide insights into the daily life, trade, and culture of the ancient residents. Among the most notable findings are seals with inscriptions in a script yet to be fully deciphered. These seals suggest a form of writing and administrative organization. Pottery, beads, tools, and figurines have also been discovered showcasing the craftsmanship and artistic skills of the inhabitants. The intricate designs on pottery and the variety of artifacts suggest a rich cultural tapestry that included intricate forms of self-expression. Trade and Economy Mohenjo-daro's strategic location along the banks of the Indus River positioned it as a hub for trade and commerce. Archaeological evidence indicates that the city had connections with other regions, both within the Indus Valley and beyond. The diversity of artifacts found at the site suggests a complex economy with specialization in various crafts and industries. The seals discovered in Mahajodaro, often depicting animals like the unicorn, have been found in other contemporary sites, implying a standardized system of trade and communication. The existence of a uniform script on these seals further points to a sophisticated level of administrative and economic organization. The Decline of Mohenjo-daro Despite its achievements, Mohenjo-daro, like other cities of the Indus Valley Civilization, experienced a decline. The reasons behind this decline remain speculative, as the ancient script has yet to be fully deciphered, making historical records scarce. Several theories attempt to explain the fall of Mohenjo-daro. Environmental factors, such as shifts in the course of the rivers, are proposed as potential contributors. Changes in climate or geological events might have affected the sustainability of the region. Additionally, social and political factors, including internal conflicts or external invasions, are considered as possible causes. The lack of monumental structures resembling palaces or temples in Mohenjo-daro has led some scholars to suggest that the civilization might have had a relatively egalitarian social structure. This absence of clear indicators of centralized authority raises questions about how decisions were made and how power was distributed within the society. Legacy and UNESCO World Heritage Mohenjo-daro was rediscovered in the 1920s and since then, 
Ongoing excavations have added to our understanding of this ancient civilization. In recognition of its historical significance, Mohenjo-daro was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1980. The site continues to be a subject of scholarly research, attracting archaeologists, historians, and curious minds eager to unlock the mysteries of the past. The preservation and study of Mohenjo-daro contribute not only to our understanding of ancient civilizations but also to the broader narrative of human history. Conclusion Mohenjo-daro stands as a testament to the ingenuity and sophistication of the ancient Indus Valley civilization. Its well-planned urban layout, advanced drainage systems, and unique artifacts continue to capture the imagination of scholars and enthusiasts alike. The city's decline remains shrouded in mystery, inviting ongoing research and exploration. As we delve deeper into the secrets of Mohenjo-daro, we uncover not just the story of a bygone civilization but also a window into the complexities of human society. The artifacts, streets, and structures of Mohenjo-daro echo the footsteps of a people who, thousands of years ago, built a city that would leave an indelible mark on the pages of history.